okay? Tonight is August the 14th, 2014, and I have some cool stuff here for the Wi-Fi antenna people. This is a feed uh, that I got off of eBay. I think it was about 35 bucks. It is made by Andrew, so actually it's quite nice. I have hooked it up. If I hook it up here uh, and measure its output, I end up uh, getting, I'll have to show you. you know, there's no use in the doing things without uh, real data. We're running it at uh, 2410 megahertz, 2.410 gigahertz. Okay, I got it hooked up and uh, we're on a one watt scale. We got a one watt uh, 2.4 2.5 gigahertz uh, slug. Turn RF on. There's our forward power, 0.5, half a watt forward. Reflected power is pretty much zero. And if I put my hand on it right here, you can see that it does show some reflected power. Very, very good match, as you would expect from a nice commercial outfit like Andrew. And uh, we'll try to do all this at once. It's vertically polarized. You'll have to move around to the other side here. And if you look at our spectrum analyzer right up there, I know this is running through. This is pretty much its focus, and I can get I can get the uh, output right up about as much as uh, right there. That's about as high as it goes. If you want to, yeah. See, I'm about one uh, one line down from the top. That's the key. So that's a pretty much its maximum gain right there. Okay. Very good match. Quite good output. Okay. That's that antenna. This is a, let's see, the diameter of this antenna, I wrote it all here on the back, the diameter is 28 inches with a uh, focal length of, uh, with, a, with a, not a focal length, the focal length is 11.81 inches. What you do, is you measure the diameter of it and then with a straight edge across it you measure the distance from the straight edge across to the middle right down to the center and it's this diameter squared divided by 16 times this distance right here and that gives you the focal distance out here which is 11.8 inches about 12 inches which is what this is works, works, works quite good okay. the next one is this beauty I love this one I built this one a long time ago, this, this slotted uh, feed, right here. This is the slot feed. It's out of about a 1961 uh, amateur radio VHF manual. Center, right here, it's got an end connector. The inner diameter, this is 0.3 inches, runs from one end to the other. It's actually soldered and threaded and grounded to this end. This one goes through the copper and attaches to the center conductor. This one goes through the outer conductor but does not touch the inner conductor and it actually radiates out the slot. It's a beautiful little device. Built this a good 30 years ago and I'm just now using it again. Anyway, we slide that in here. This is actually just to uh, hold it and protect it. And of course, when it's a finished product, there'll be a, a cap over here. And it, it focuses about, let's see, that's vertical. I got a little, it focuses at about right there. Let's hook that one up. I'll show you its forward and reflective power. It's a very good match. Okay. RF is actually still on, we never turned it off. See, there's its forward power, about 0.56 or so. Its reflected power is perfect match. If I grab it, it'll, of course, change. Now, I'll put this guy up here and point that at our little antenna. See, I get a little bit more gain than with the white one. If you, if you look really closely at that over there, 
See, it looks like I'm getting, oh, maybe four to six dB more. It's kind of hard to see it at my distance. I, I know you can see it better uh, with the camera with my grandson uh, uh, focusing in on it. So we get a little bit more gain out of this one. Very, very good match. Very pleased with that one. I think that's a beauty. I just love that slotted antenna. Okay. Now, one I got in today off of eBay is this little, whoops, this little fella right here. It's a little Yagi. Let's hook it up. I'm leaving the RF on all this time just for the sake of time. If we hook the Yagi up. Uh, here's a ballon right here, so you can see it comes in. Uh, the the center conductor comes through here, and then uh, the the uh, the center conductor actually goes over and is shorted to this side over here. It's a ballon. Now, if we from the same distance, let's see. Let's look at our power first. See, we got about what four or five watts forward. We got a little bit reflected. Not bad. You can do the SWR USF if I put my hand across the ballon. So you can see it goes up considerably. So it's working. If we point this, at, if we measure over there, if I get this one is rotate and get as high as I can go. See, it's about 2.2, 2.2, yeah, about somewhere around two divisions down. So the uh, parabolas, the parabolic antennas, are a good 10 to 12 or something even greater than this one. I'm not going to have a reference antenna, just just to keep it kind of short. And uh, lastly here, I'm going to show you another antenna that I bought at some point in time. Uh, these things are actually pretty cheap. I don't remember what I paid for this. Only like 15 or so dollars. It, it's really not a bad antenna. It has a decent mat. Another thing that's kind of interesting about it is it actually has a male SMA connector, not a reverse polarity one. They advertise it to um, go on routers and stuff. But that's actually not going to work because that's that's an actual genuine SMA male, not a reverse polarity male. And here's our other antenna. These are all very cheap, oftentimes um, free shipping from China. Let's turn our RF back on over here. And look at our output. It's actually uh, doing every bit as good as that other little ant that other little Yagi. See, it's still a good 10 to or more dB below the parabolas, but it's not anything uh, to be expected as high as I can get it. So well, that's that. Now let me show you this. There's a gentleman I've been uh, corresponding with here a good bit on eBay, and I want to show you. Uh, Ken, you were talking about the matching stub. Well, this one has a matching stub in it too, an open-ended matching stub, and here's what it looks like. And uh, there it is, right there. So it hooks in right there. And if you measure the length of that in a couple of pieces, it's five centimeters long. So it's 25.4 millimeters per inch. So uh, 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 50 millimeters is two inches. So there's a two inch uh, matching stub there. This is a, as you can say, a driven element. That's how they match that. And it's also, I know you, it does change the match by removing this. I won't go into every little tiny detail but those are some Wi-Fi antennas that I just got in and I'm having fun with. And I, I think that there are a number of people out there that uh, really enjoy this. It's easy to work with. Wish I had a bigger shot. I know that making some of these measurements in such close proximity is, is a little bit goofy. But that's it for right now. Now, when I get these things built and can measure them at a distance, I'll, I'll update the videos. But right now, that's what it is. Now, what I'm using here, I think you've all seen before, if you've seen any of my videos, this is a bird line section with a uh, 2.4 to 2.5 uh, gigahertz, one watt element. I use a little uh, broadband amplifier over here. I drive it with this uh, HP 
signal generator and we watch it here on this uh, spectrum analyzer. So that's the antennas. This one, uh, I'll show you the two side by side. This is the, uh, whatever it is, the 42 inch. Darn, I wrote it on the back. Yeah, no, this was 34 and a half inches. Looks bigger than that, doesn't it? 34 and a half inches. This one is 28 inches. I think we've seen tonight, as crude as it may be, we get a little bit more gain out of this one than we do this one, but they both have very, very good matches to uh, 50 ohms. Very little reflective power. I should quite please with them. I don't exactly have a project for them right now, but I'll probably end up putting a uh, Wi-Fi link over to uh, one of my storage sheds or something. I've had this thing up in the air before at about 35 feet over a rotor. And I got amazing results out of it, but I used a, uh, a cantina feed for it at the time. I didn't have the slot up there. So uh, that's it for the night. So I hope you enjoy these videos. I hope they're worth something to you.